The Public Health Ministry on Thursday said that imposing a travel ban on Chinese nationals would not help the government's fight against coronavirus epidemics. This, as the infection, at the same low rates as in Thailand, has reached many countries, even in the West, despite having many restrictions in some countries. Meanwhile, of those who returned from China and held in quarantine at Satterheap Navy Base, four who were hospitalised have all recovered. The biggest issue appears to be psychological there, as many feel oppressed and are receiving treatment. They've had full contact with their friends and families, though, as all mobile phones have been returned following their decontamination. For the public, the reminder to wear masks to avoid any illness and, of course, protect from current smog and to wash hands frequently remains in place. Chinese students desperately trying to get back to Australia are booking last-minute holidays to Thailand and other Asian countries to get around the coronavirus travel ban there. It comes as health authorities in Australia confirmed the 14th case. Chinese students admit rushing to visa-free countries to get around the ban, which blocks visitors to Oz who've been to China in the last 14 days. An estimated 100,000 students are affected, and even in the UK a third case has been diagnosed, this time in Brighton. In the capital, police have arrested a Thai woman after she shared fake news on Facebook suggesting that someone had died in Pattaya after contracting the coronavirus. The warning's been out for a long time not to promote any form of fake news. And yet many feel it's fine to post in their own name gossip and more that they've gleaned from other Facebookers without any form of backup. The post was simply not true, we're told. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, much of the east side has seen zero water supply for the third morning in a row. With home tanks now empty, it's not only a lack of showers that are creating a stink. We're told a main pipe burst is the cause, but by now normally that would have been fixed. Our studios too have no water in the tanks. A local news outlet tells us that the head of the Chonbury Attractions Association has gone on record as saying that attractions and restaurants that have put all their eggs in one basket, catering only for the Chinese, should quickly adjust their prices and take a different approach to business. With Western tourists and expats virtually ignored by many venues for years, this is the time to start looking again at the Western market here. It's expected that the lack of Chinese will continue for at least another three months. And when it opens up again, we'll see a slow return to normal, not a quick one. With the bar to the low rate creating slight ease on spending, the Western customer, once the staple diet of any business here, has often been ignored by businesses who saw the Chinese as an easy market. Keeping this as our final story today, the warning that being drunk can be used as an excuse for stupidity. It seems the so-called pretty, that's a Thai expression for an attractive woman hired to promote goods to the public, was home on leave in Pitsanulok with her friend, when she decided after one too many drinks to try a so-called sugar burn vodka cocktail. Now that's one of those drinks they set on fire before you drink it. She tried to down it with the flames still licking and ended up with her hair and face burned. Her response? To demand compensation from the bar. And even, once sober, she complained to the police. The 22-year-old seems to have won too, as the bar agreed to cover her medical bills. No word on whether she'll now need a wig, but the warning is, we suppose, not to sip drinks when they're on fire. And with the reminder that this weekend sees Thailand celebrating Makabucha Day, which is the third most important of all Buddhist festivals and will see alcohol not sold for 24 hours on that day. The Met Office promises highs today of just 30, a hazy day dropping down to 24. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.